Russia has withdrawn its mercenaries from the African country of Burkina Faso and sent them to the Kursk region to counter the Ukrainian armed forces, writes Romadsky, military expert. Reserve Colonel of the Ukrainian armed forces, Sahi Grabsky, explained whether the military contingent of the occupiers abroad poses a threat to Ukrainian defenders. He noted that although the number of these troops is not enough to make a difference, if they can be used additionally, the Russians will take advantage of it. People who are currently serving as mercenaries in private companies are all former military personnel. They have good military training, and in battle they are more useful than conscripts or those who have just been mobilized and have no military experience, Grabsky asserts. The expert added that the Russians either dissolve the mercenaries in separate units of the Russian armed forces or form separate units from them. According to him, Russia has a problem with the military contingent in Africa, since in order for the contingent to begin to report to the Russian Defense Ministry, it must terminate the contract with the company and agree to sign a contract with the Defense Ministry. Because it can send units from Tajikistan or Armenia to Ukraine in an imperative manner, but it does not have mercenaries, the military expert said. At the same time, Grabsky emphasized that the situation with the units from the Transnistria is unsolvable from the Russian Federation. They are blocked there. But the occupiers cannot gather all the military mercenaries from different countries of the world for the war in Ukraine, he emphasizes, since Russia needs to ensure its own interests and for this a military presence is necessary. In addition, he admitted that units of military mercenaries from different countries of the world will not make a difference at the front, but will strengthen the enemy. Let us recall that Russian mercenary group Wagner stated that it is not fighting in Ukraine. Their presence is observed only in Belarus and Africa. If the situation changes, the occupiers will report this separately. In addition, it is known that Russia is recruiting Siberian homeless people to fight against Ukraine. In this way, they are trying to cover losses at the front, luring men with large salaries. In particular, the Russian Defense Ministry is offering the homeless a one-time payment of 400,000 rubles and another 210,000 monthly. California is only now heading into the teeth of the wildfire season but already has seen nearly three times as much acreage burn than during all of 2023. Matt Howe, 37, a resident of El Carrizo village saw a portion of his house scorched from one of the wildfires. Howe feels fortunate that he has a roof over his family tonight, he laments the damage the fire has done to his neighborhood. He said, I heard we lost 40 homes, and you know, it's tough being two of the homes survived are ours, you know, and seeing a lot of good neighbors and good friends not have homes anymore. In El Carrizo Village, a community of 250 along Highway 74 in Riverside County, an Associated Press photographer saw at least 10 homes and several cars engulfed in flames. More than 5,500 homes in Riverside County were under evacuation orders, affecting more than 19,000 residents. The bar after we clean it out. What are you looking for something to scoop with, huh? No, I didn't just throw, on, throw it down because I think I actually wore some, some of my good gel. I actually, I don't. Yeah. I'll get in there with my hands. You know, this time too. The unfortunate thing was is I bought this chainsaw when I first moved up here, too. <laughs> and then you got bigger and bigger. Yeah, and then now this would just be a toy. Right, your staple gun, Dad. Yeah. I remember when a crossbow. No, a guy would come in with a undersized tool, like a little hammer. Good thing it's we just go. all stuff that could be replaced. Where the hell did you get that from Fisher Price? Um, you know, for us, it's it's tough. You know, we lost a lot of um, you know our holiday stuff, Christmas. You know, obviously decorations. We don't have anything for Christmas. We lost, you know, kid stuff. Um, tools, um, but you know, fortunate that's just a garage that we can rebuild, and uh, tools we can we can replace. Um, yeah, I'm, it's devastating coming back to the neighborhood because I, I heard we lost 40 homes, and you know, it's it's tough being two of the homes survived of ours, and, you know, and seeing a lot of good neighbors and good friends not have homes anymore. That's 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 the toughest part, honestly. Um, it, it hurts inside because I know there for a while we didn't think we had a home to come home to as well and um, just over the moon that we have a place to sleep tonight. So yeah. That good butter I got from Richard Egan, Dad. Which one? I didn't think you know it, it, the small community we have up here, 
Um, we hear about them, especially during fire season. They're every, it almost seems every other week or at least once a month. And you almost get callous to them, you know, like the, probably the fire department gets callous to them, you know. But um, this one just came so fast. I don't think, I don't think anybody was prepared to move um, as fast as it had come, um, which, you know, unfortunately led a lot of people to leave their belongings behind um, and get out with what they could. Um, like for us, it was tough. We left our pigs behind and our chickens and turkeys, and we're just glad that they made it. You know, we're, we're really, we're really fortunate. Hot, hot, she was an artist and 